Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, this video is because I want to document the little project that we are doing in the academic committee in King Saud Medical City's internal medicine residency program. Uh, this is our program in Riyadh, and we are trying to revolutionize the way that we use our half-day release activities to meet, and maybe arguably for the first time, meet every single criteria um, that is required of us from the Saudi Commission for Health Specialties, which is the governing body related to the uh, different activi activities in the internal medicine residency programs. The idea basically sprung from my experiences uh, during med school. I was very lucky to have attended a school that is uh, run by a problem-based learning, and we have had so many different sessions that describe our uh, real cases. We were divided into groups and we'd be discussing those cases. As medical students, we were not uh, experienced well enough to be able to really delve in and enjoy the clinical aspects. We were missing so many details and so much knowledge. But as you start practicing medicine, you quickly kind of develop this ability to speak the language, if you will. If you imagine that medicine is a language and, and we start speaking that language by knowing more information, refining our differential diagnosis, and then approach the patients accurately. Let me tell you a background. A group of residents last year decided to just simply try to organize some of the teaching activities, not even all of it, and a, a shout out goes to our program director, Dr. Mbarak Shimri, who actually gave us this chance, along with the administration for our internal medicine department, which started uh, by Dr. Abdullah Safar, who used to be the head of the, or the chairman of internal medicine departments in King Saud Medical City, which is, by the way, Shmesi Hospital. And uh, later on now, there's a new administration on, headed by Dr. Mohamed Malki. And we are given this kind of freedom to uh, initially to, to organize a couple of lectures. And later, we were tasked with the task of actually organizing the half-day releases. And then we started doing some clinical activities. And we also organized uh, morning activities after the morning reports, 10 to 15 minutes on a daily basis. We did bedside teachings, we do uh, multiple choice discussions. Again, a shout out to Dr. Safar for his, uh, for, for doing great and actually pushing for us being able to invite expert consultants from other hospitals to give us the lectures in the fields that we wanted. And the academic committee you will find listed on my blog, I, I posted it so that each one of them actually gets credit for their work. And right now we're just in the pilot phase. So we're going to take three weeks before our October effect, which is the Saudi equivalent of the July effect in the United States, if you will. A residency program start in October. So we wanted to test out this program before the new residents come in. We are capable of looking into references and getting newer materials, using the audiovisuals and accessing technology. I do not as a resident need uh, to bother a consultant to go and make a presentation out of scratch to give me material on say the diagnostic criteria for whatever, pneumonia, the classification of the severity of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, etc. We can find that in references. Heck, you can just pull your phone and just search for it and find the latest reference there is. And life is good. But we need the expert to supervise our exchange of knowledge. We have a lot of information. We need them to be organized into certain categories and to be able to retrieve that information from memory. And we want, and this is something that we agreed upon in the academic year 2016, 2017, that's last year, and that would be the year of conception of the academic committee, if you will. We agreed that we want to create a safe, confident doctor. And we are not given a lot of the teaching material, so we're going to compensate for it by making our own activities. Uh, and so, here is the pitch for the project we are doing. It is a resident-based teaching program. We get a case. And I have proposed that we use audiovisuals and we use everything that can make it really interesting for people to actually attend. 
and to want to hear more about it. And as such, the first two cases, the presidents would come and attend, and in fact the attendance is great. Today was the second session of the pilot program. We have a third week, then we're going to do a form of a survey, and we have been gathering feedback after the first two sessions, and we will gather even more feedback. We get a case that's anchored in a major topic. For example, the first case was tuberculosis, and you will also find those references on my blog. And if you go ahead and read this case, it was about a uh, patient with tuberculosis, non-shedding pulmonary type, with uh, multi-drug resistance, and obviously, one of the objectives to discuss multi and pan drug resistance, the diagnostic criteria, when to start, when not to start treatment, life-saving modalities, the public health concern, and how to uh, the, the role of prevention, as well as subjectively try to uh, get from the feedback using the evaluation forms and the surveys what people think about it. Please go ahead and, and read the summary on the introduction to the resident-based clinical case teaching on the blog and uh, feel free to contact and leave a comment and tell us what you think. It's a bold idea, it's new and I'm really excited about it. I hope that more residents from my program will join this, pro this uh, project and hopefully we will publish and present our uh, project and our findings and what we learned and our experiences and uh, as well I hope that this material will be accessible to other people it's online it's for public and I'd love it if more residents and programs and medical students and everybody would actually use them come back to them and uh, spark interest thank you for listening to this rather long rant and uh, we'll see you soon